In a world where the climate could be changing, scientists are our last defense, but are they friend or foe? Recent events have called their objectivity into question, so a group of students set out to answer this in a 10-minute documentary. What follows are some of the answers to their questions. So we started by asking some real people their real views. Uh, I don't see any signs of climate change here in Holland. I think it's a bit of guessing. Because it's going too crazy lately, we don't have like very clear seasons anymore. You can tell from what ha what's happening in Australia and actually in Africa as well, with all the rain and the floods, that things are changing. Some scientists will be influenced. But I think that scientists have a strong ethic and that most of them are not influenced. But I think with, with the climate change issues, uh, the, the, the bias involved is uh, smaller than, uh, than, for instance, bias in uh, health-related health research. I think it's good that they make uh, people aware of it so that they think it's our fault, so they do something about the environment. But it's not really that way. Uh, I also think it's a moral discussion. And in that perspective, I, uh, I like to support it. I mean, obviously, like you'll need funds from certain places. And the problem is that often the people with money are, also have an interest in the outcome of the result, like of the, of the study. We looked at Google Scholar using various combinations of words and phrases to try and determine the scale of publications pointing towards a bias in the research. When looking at the more academic scopus, the percentage of papers, already low in Google Scholar, that point towards the bias decreases. Now let's hear what the experts have to say. Some scientists may have been a little bit too eager to prove that climate change was real, but they have not been purposely manipulating data. They've been maybe a little bit naive uh, that they could be scrutinized like uh, in a court case and then, uh, well, not all data may have passed the test. So for scientists who are really working in this area, I think that's clear to them whether they believe or not. Mm -hmm. They have to use facts to support their idea, that's clear. If you don't believe, you have to publish some papers to argue that point. I don't think that there are many scientists who really deliberately uh, confounding the, the results in one way or another. Uh, real scientists don't work that way. In most cases, people just they just don't realize the well, or they don't have any theory to explain some new data, new findings. So they just remove it. But we cannot say those people are, or they did manipulate data. Say they manipulated data, but they, they took uh, conclusions from what it was available at the time that were too fast, and they say in one direction, as if uh, they wanted to prove something. I have in the last 25 years I have not seen any credible theory counteracting mainstream climate change science. This chart shows funding from U.S. government institutions towards climate change research. But, when taken in terms of inflation adjustments, there is no increase in absolute funding over the period. And, in terms of environmental research, as a percentage of total scientific funding, it may be decreasing slightly. So, funding is one of the big issues, if not the biggest. You know, I don't think funding is the main issue for controversy in climate change. Of course, already very historically, big corporations have always funded research to counteract uh, findings in the field of environment. I have read uh, some reports saying that one of the major uh, climate skeptics, actually his research had been sponsored by uh, some of the big oil companies uh, mm -hmm. 
I think one of the things he can do in order to uh, make the research look more honest uh, or science-based is before the publish, uh, always put a line, common line, this research has been sponsored by somebody. If you put the, uh, the words climate, climate change problems, you have more uh, chances than when you don't put them. No one is pushing, but the point is that when you, when you uh, try to, to make a proposal, you are somehow uh, referring to calls, mm -hmm. and very often calls mention climate change because climate change is in the political agenda. The, the mainstream of science is convinced that climate change is a big problem. Mm -hmm. And when this traditional behavior of corporations occurs that they try to discredit this science, uh, they get annoyed and uh, they like, sometimes they would like to suppress ill-funded science. They don't like really value-driven science in, in journals. Break wide open. New developments today involving those hacked emails from Britain suggesting scientists are fudging data to make their case for global warming. We can't account for the lack of warming at the moment. The Economist magazine, in assessing the message, wrote that to take this as evidence that Dr. Trenberth questions global warming seems foolish. Snaps happen. He's expressing frustration that the monitoring needed to understand how these variations work is not as good as it could be. Yesterday we showed you the messages between the scientists bragging about climate tricks used to hide the decline in temperatures. They talked about hiding the decline in temperatures of the last half of the last century. Man's hockey stick was of course the center of a controversy. The journal Science agreed with the assessment, noting it was obvious that Dr. Trenberth was bemoaning something else. I believe that climate scientists have lost their innocence because of climate gate. The only thing they may have made a mistake is being a little bit too eager, uh, protecting the results maybe a little bit too strong, which is not uncommon in science anyway. Uh, the whole climate gate incident was a bit unfortunate because it was about email communication and jokes amongst uh, uh, researchers and it has made all of us very afraid. This is a very good chance as well to force them, to force those scientists to really look at the procedure to make sure every publication is right. It is ironic that Fox's survey on scientists falsifying data added up to 120%, not the usual 100%. But it was, especially TV, they are for the quick public attention. Mm -hmm. And science can be very boring. Mm -hmm. uh, but controversy in science is not boring. Then. So to say nothing is happening is no news. So that is it. Um, this the two errors uh, have been overemphasized by the press. It is not news if IPCC produces correct information. It is news if IPCC produces wrong information. The media are responsible for this. Mm. For the general public, unfortunately, they don't have this so-called expertise uh, to even look at these literatures. So what they can do, they just simply receive the information, so the second-hand information from journalists. So Political power, economic power, join in this debate. Mm -hmm. So this is my view. Climate change implies that government has to take action. And I think this is the main reason why climate policy is so difficult to develop. People, also the laymen and the big industry, fears they do not like government involvement. Everybody living in this world is separated by you know, political boundaries in mm -hmm. a different country. They have a different point uh, of view as well as interests. Mm -hmm. Of course, in other countries there have been times, even in the United States, that government didn't like the outcome of science and reduced the scientific budgets for what we normally consider credible research. So these things happen. Unfortunately, science is not really independent. Because if there's no public support, there's no political support. And then you lose your funding also as a researcher. So. <laughs> If 
you look at the climate change, there are two uh, definitions. One is the so-called scientific definition. One is the reception, which perceived by the public, so-called layman, lay people. They are not experts in this area. Mm-hmm. I don't think the general public can have a, you know, crystal clear understanding of climate change as a science. Climate change is a complex issue. There are many feedback effects. And uh, when you try to simplify it for the general public, you tend to make it sometimes into a caricature. And that's inevitable because it's such a complex process. You have to be aware that you always need to translate it for someone who is not really involved in the actual research. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, the general public, they feel to realize there are such condition. Oh, this is not their fault. I think that we have to do more and more work to say, to make them aware of this uncertainty. Uh, I think one of the things he can do in order to uh, make the research look more honest uh, or science-based is before they publish, uh, always put a line, couple of lines, this research has been sponsored by somebody or some company. Mm-hmm. That would give more credit to whoever's research. This make clear, well, we, have, we do receive some funds from a particular company, persons, but on the other hand, we keep our own integrity in this science. Uh, there were some minor mistakes in the reporting. But there were only minor mistakes, not, not the, es- the essence of climate change issue has never been touched by the, those mistakes. If there had only been a good theory that would uh, question the mainstream climate science, this individual would have received the Nobel Prize. And over the last 25 years there is no competing theory. Science is about coming up with one interpretation and being challenged by somebody else and coming up with new interpretations. Science develops all the time. It's not a static issue. Uh, The outcome of science, like climate change, but uh, in many other environmental fields, uh, it has always uh, a value to it. And and always also scientists are to some extent sensitive. But the total scientific machinery has an internal cleansing effect. And I think this works with climate. They went to school and I think they're right. Yeah, and telling you guys out there, I think the scientists are right. <laughs>